So let's talk about this, like, segue into your podcast, because I'm really fascinated. You, you mentioned that your podcast was in the top 10%, 15% of, of growing podcasts, which is really interesting because that kind of confirms something. I was, I was doing a little research on your podcast prior to this interview, and I saw that it was like, I think your pod, of, like, I think it was like of 2 million podcasts that this site was looking at, you were like in the top 3%. And I was like, yeah. no, that's great. Like, is that like, I was like, and, but I guess that really is the case, I, I which is amazing, yeah. man. Like, this is your opportunity. I'm like, this is not, uh, I'm not, you're not bragging here. I want to know, the, I'll, give me the, the details, man. Like, how many, if you're comfortable, how many people were listening? Like, how did it go? Like, because that blows my mind. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was, it's, it's awesome. Because, like, I don't even have, like, a big, it's starting to grow now. I'm just building myself up, too. Um, but, yeah, I just, I think the biggest thing is, like, connecting with people you know um not trying to reach the world trying to reach that single person um and like looking at the small community because how you like going back you know jacob it's like how do you sell one cookie you didn't sell it to the world first you sold it to that one person you yeah. sold it to your grandma you sold it to your mom you sold it to your cousin you sold it to your little brother or sister so like always focus on the people who matter because people will see that and people always grow what matters you know um, so I think that was really important with when starting a podcast. I think the biggest mistakes that people make is trying to reach 7 million people in one podcast or trying to grow their numbers. It's like, oh, I want to have 300 downloads on my first podcast. It's like, well, dude, you just started your first podcast. Like you might get lucky to get 15 downloads, you know, three. Um, <laughs> yeah. Or three. Yeah. You know, cause like someone's like, it's like you. So think about it. You're literally going on your time, whether you're driving or you're at home, whatever, wherever you listen to your podcast. Like audio content compared to video content, it's kind of boring, let's be honest. Like everyone loves video, why is TikTok so viral? You know, podcasts, our platform, there's no such thing as going viral really on podcasts. It's a slow build up. Mm -hmm. um, so going back to kind of like what, what my mentality was, is like, don't try to reach the world, Christian, just trying to reach those three people who look up to you, who, who follow you, who, who message you on Instagram and ask and ask for those, you know, those questions. And I think when you have a mentality, you're like, oh my goodness, like it's time consuming, it's not, but it's like, those three people can be the three million but you have to focus on the three the three people first because say you have two million followers if you don't meet their needs give them value with two people what makes you think you're going to do that with two million people preach you know? man that's a great oh so i think it's just like especially all those dms and like and, and no offense like you're throwing yourself out there they're they're taking their time to listen to you they're taking their day and time is the most important commodity in in our lives and so I just think it's just like some people think they're super special and I think everyone's special in their own way, but also like, what are you really giving back for them to listen to you? And I think when you think about that, you really start to focus less about yourself and about other people. Mm -hmm. So that was the whole thing of the podcast was like my purpose, passion, like reaching people first, um, rather than trying to grow my audience. And it's kind of, it works kind of against you, but it actually does it because like, well, I'm mm -hmm. trying to grow. So I need to focus less about myself and more on others. But that's, that's the key to growth. So yeah, I, um just that segueing into like interviewing people who people they had also a good following but also they just were connected like you could tell people were engaged with them they were solid people they weren't just about the money they weren't about the numbers they were just about people mm -hmm. you know um i really was strategic on who i picked as my guest that's very very important because whoever's listening to you and, and, you know whatever whoever you have on is a representation of your brand your company yeah. dc podcast whatever that is so anything that you're associated with is a part representation of of you which kind of can be really good or it could really suck you know um so yeah we grew from like i think i remember like my first podcast like 10 downloads and into average oh you know over 300 400 downloads um, and to over um, thousands of thousands of thousands of downloads now. That's a um, lot per podcast. And, yeah, and now it's crazy because I'm still like, I just looked yesterday and I haven't been on it for five or six months, but it was like over, I got like, over a couple hundred downloads and I haven't even posted a podcast. So that it's crazy. I didn't even know that number was in the top 3%. I didn't, I like, I even checked on it. Um, um, so that's kind of funny. It's humbling too, for sure. Uh, but yeah, no, I was ranked like, I think in the top, like 10% um, of like purpose podcast um, and Spotify and then Apple, like a top a thousand at one point or something like that. So that's wild, um, man. Yeah. But the biggest thing to a podcast is too, is like, usually everyone quits. They don't even make it to yes. like 70%, 80% of podcasters don't even make it past, you know, seven episodes because that's how challenging it really is. And so if you can make it past seven or eight, I tell people like, you're already like halfway there. Yeah. Um, you just gotta be consistent and, you know, start listening to, to, to your consumer. So 
I love that, man. I think one of the best things you lines you just said in, the, in this whole conversation so far is if you can't add value to two people, you can't add value to two million people. And that yeah. is so mind blowing, I think, to myself and also so many other people. So it's like, you know, we want to, we want to, inf- uh, you know, a lot of people want to influence a lot of people or just have that mm-hmm. fame or, you know, notoriety, whatever the case is. And it's like, you're right, man. It's if you, you can't, you know, like you said, add value to two, you can't add it to two million. And it's interesting because I, I read this quote recently and it's, it was, because the guy was kind of describing the difference between a, um, an audience, having a large audience, and having a large fan base, and how they are completely yeah. different things. You know, you mm-hmm. can have two million followers, but they might just be an audience. That if you would say, hey, I'm, I'm going to do a meetup in whatever, you know, San Jose, wherever, you know, like, like two million, if they're just an audience, they're not going to show up. But if they're your fans, they actually care. And it's like, how do you exactly. turn your audience into fans? Well, you actually have to care about them. You yeah. Know? And I, you know, it's, quoting Gary V, I like to, I try to scale the unscalable as mm-hmm. he says. So like, for example, I literally, before we got on this podcast, I was doing a, um, uh, I was writing out hand, handwritten thank you notes to people. I did a giveaway recently on my channel because I was, um, uh, I was, a song of mine was doing like well for my standards. And I was like, wow, this is crazy. If we can get it to this certain number, like, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do a giveaway kind of thing. And we got it to the number yeah. and, and then I had them comment to something and I picked a couple of my favorite comments and I was like, okay, send me your addresses. I'll send you something. So in each one of them, I'm, I'm like writing a handwritten thank you and I'm sending a little gift and I'm like, shoot, like this is way more time consuming than I anticipated. Is, you know, yeah. like I thought yeah. it was going to be like, you know, a couple of minutes. Like it's like, I'm like already like 45 minutes to an hour in. I've written like four and I have like 15 more to go, you know? <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. No. But it's like, but dude, that that's so, that's is awesome. going to end up paying way more dividends than just putting another video that people don't necessarily care about me you know what i mean yeah yeah no i think i, I think for me i think like it's from perspective at the end of your life like are you are you going to be satisfied with you know how many people you followed or how many people you impacted yeah um, there's a big difference there um because in the end you know you're, you're gonna everyone dies like that's the that's that's the common variable so it's like what are you gonna be proud of what are you gonna be satisfied of and so that's awesome and like i think the unscalable too is like if that person gets a note like say you know right now you you wrote me a note and it took you know five ten minutes to get the car blah blah send it to me you know but i'd be like dang jacob like i'm gonna go tell my other friends like i'm gonna tell my 10 15 20 other friends like yo dude this guy like literally like i've been following him he's been helping me out he's been giving me tips you know he's been really just transparent in the process and the struggles but yeah, you know, I, I, I love listening to this guy. Like, I'm gonna go, you know, share about him, especially that he wrote me a note. Like, I yeah. feel connected with him, you know. So, and to some degree, I, I wonder if that speaks about how you and I met in the aspect of, you know, I had Matt and Abby on the channel, or Matt was did the most of the interview, and um, he because of that, we kind of stayed in connect connected, like a message here and there on, you know, and then but not because of that. I, sorry, let me add to that. I, I sent them a, a thank you package after, and you know, yeah. I had a handwritten note. Hey, I just want to thank you for the, you know, had a, a thing of call. Coffee, um, and then it had a some like a merchandise shirt for myself, um, and I just was like, I want to say that, you know, like, but I feel like that makes an impression on them. And then you know, now I don't even six months, eight months later, when I'm like, hey, you have any recommendations? They actually respond to the message, kind of thing. You know exactly. what I mean? Yeah. They, they yeah. know who I am, you know, of their two million or five million, however many followers they have now, they still know who you are. And it's yeah. not only about you know making a lasting impression, but it's also you, you made an impact. They they care, you know. Like so, yeah. It's all yeah, those no. small little details that actually make a big difference. It does because, um, yeah, no. Out of all the followers, you know, they both of them follow me, which is kind of funny. I'm like, well, I, only, well, yeah. I only have, I only have like, you know, like five percent of the ten percent of the followers they have <laughs> I'm on my social media account. But what's cool though, I, I, like for me, I was like, you know, hey, I'm gonna support you guys. I'm gonna buy your merch. You know, I'm gonna represent. I'm gonna buy your dude merch, and I wear it around, and I represent them. That's cool. Um, I took pictures in it. You know, I posted on them. So yeah, I've definitely like, even like you know, having my audience get connected with them, you know, each person matters, you know, so um, I love that man and definitely wish people could would be more, um, you know, I guess it's a, um, you know, quality over quantity. So yeah, a hundred percent. Absolutely.